<laughs> oh, no. What's up, Peter Matthew Vlog Viewing Fam? There's that. Anyways, today I've got another fishing trip plan. It seems like the last few videos on this channel have just been me fishing. Whatever, I think you guys enjoy. It's a little change of beat off of the woodworking. I just stopped off at the local bait shop I like going to. If anybody's in the area, it's called Lakes Area Bait Shop. I would hugely recommend them. Very helpful people. But anyways, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got. First thing I got was a jitterbug oh, this is top water stuff and it's got this weird blade here so it'll go side to side and i got the rapella f7 it's a fairly shallow diving crankbait with the uh, vampire colors pretty hopeful for that i finally got a spinner bait i do not have any spinner baits as of right now i got a walking bait sometimes called a spook it's a head-on with the black and white colors which are pretty effective and i do not have a setup for shaky head fishing so i went ahead and got this guy right here, it's a shaky head. Basically a hook with a weight on the end and it has the skirt here. And I got kind of a finesse style worm for this, the Berkeley Gold. I think this was a minnow? No, it's a night crawler. Six inch has the fin tail on the back and some yum dingers green pumpkin. And there's that, all set up for tonight's fishing trip. So it is, wow, there's a lot of grease on the screen. There we go, it is currently Quarter to five, just about. Me and my dad are taking the boat out to Proud Lake. Never fished Proud Lake before. We're gonna go ahead and give it a shot. The dude at the bait shop brought it up, said it's pretty good bass fishing out there. So that's what I'm going for. So let's get it. So we're at the site right now. We got the boat launch right up ahead of us. He's in the office right now, seeing if we need a pass to get through or not. And I'm sitting back here eating hot sticks. Boy, we're not floating. We're not really close to floating. You gotta bring it back. No, the tires just hit a little This is one of the most interesting boat launches we've ever had. I'm going to go ahead and narrate this entire event very dramatically for you guys. You can see there, it's not really coming off exactly. Yep. I managed to get it afloat in the lake. You can look what just happened. The rope has fallen off. As it drifts away, oh. I'm sitting there thinking what to do, and I just throw the rope in some what? pitiful attempt to oh, lasso crap. the boat back in. No, the rope just fell off. At this point, I decided it'd be best to strip down and go in the water, and then I decided, whoop, better get this on camera. It ain't funny, man. This really ain't funny. This ain't funny. <laughs> ah! This is so stupid. Holy shit, it's cold. <laughs> Look at that figure. Oh, dude, so <laughs> at this point, my dad's laughing up a storm back there and taking photos of me, sharing them all over social media. And that is what not hey, to do what? when nice launching not, a boat. Man, nice not, you stupid idiot. Oh my god. That's great. <laughs> stupid, stupid. That is so stupid. <laughs> I'm soaking wet up in my underwear, man. That stinks. You missed what just happened. His wonderful knot tying skills just totally failed. And the boat just went clean off into the lake. So I had to go for a little swim. And he's way back there at the parking lot. He's probably just laughing up a storm right now. Anyways, we're at the boat launch now. Um, I got it all loaded up. Gonna go out fishing. And we'll see what happens. Something on? What do you think it is? I don't know. What's the best? The best. Oh yeah. Not a bad fish. There you go, buddy. First bass. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's Senko time. I'm the bubblegum pink. Killing it with bubblegum pink Senko. Not a bad one. Not a bad one by any means.
right, so since he was fortunate enough, it, it was dumb luck, best. I'm gonna tie on that same exact thing, the bubblegum pink Senko. Might be something to this. We're still trying to figure the fish out. Um, I've been fishing topwater all night long. Swim bait for a little bit, didn't have any hits on that. I had one small hit on the topwater, but he missed it. So I'm going to Texas rig on my Senko. That's all there is to it. Going on. Is that true? Are you lying? I just saw a big fish splash, right? The heck? It's right up there. Looks very sketchy. You think Slenderman is gonna pop out? Maybe. Any second. Maybe I can't see anything. On this screen right now, you can't see anything outside the range of those headlights. Nothing. Wow. Uh, there we go. Hey, you ain't got shoes on. Oh, okay. fair enough. No, it's fair. Pretty dark out right now. Yeah. <laughs> you can do this! Go down the hill, buddy. Come on, don't let it pull you. You pull it. You got it. Hey, you got it now, man. Hey, buddy. Not oh, so much. Though. <laughs> Oil or something all around here. Water or something. I'd say so, too. Light. Okay, guys, so I'm actually filming off an iPhone right now because my GoPro went out of memory space so i'm filming off my dad's phone but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i think this was one of the better fishing trips we've had in a little while there wasn't much action after that one fish and our battery died on the boat so we couldn't hook up our lights which meant we could not stay out very late on the water so we were only out for a couple hours it was still a good time though and he did catch his very first bass on a senko and his very first bass in general so that was pretty good time for him and i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here guys please subscribe to this channel if you like this and i will see you next time Bye bye